Hello. Hello. We are the family deacons for Celebration Church Maputo. Emilio and Deborah here. And welcome to the Real Conversations podcast. Shape, Shape up, you are still married. married. And that has been our topic of discussion for the last couple of weeks. Yes. We have discussed three questions thus far, and we have come to our last one. So if you've not yet listened to the previous ones, you mm-hmm. can find them um, just by looking for Shape Up, You're Still Married, part one, two, and three. Okay. And the fourth one is this one, yes. which is the very last one. We've come to the end, people. Yes, we've come to the end. <laughs> yeah. And today's question will be what posture will sustain your marriage in perilous times ahead. Yes. But before we go into that, if you're tuning in for the first time, uh-huh. please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Yeah. Um, and also leave us a comment so we may interact with you. Okay? Yeah, we'd appreciate that very much. So Absolutely. what posture will sustain your marriage in perilous times ahead? Mm. We're talking about shaping up. Okay. The question is, what good is a marriage if it does not grow? This makes me think of, a, of times when we buy things, mm. right? So if you buy, for instance, a car and there's an unknown minor defect that does not allow you to use that car. Yeah. All right. Um, so then what good is that car if it can't take you where you want to? to go it's useless yeah absolutely useless uh, and you know uh, thinking of uh, having a very clear and practical picture a husband sometimes gets too busy with the stereo you know instead of making sure that the car can move <laughs> a wife can sometimes get too busy with the rear view mirror unless she has a mirror in uh, her visor well, yes, any mirror, either one. <laughs> All right. But they're not even worried about whether the car can move or not. So really, the gist of the matter here is if you have a brand new car and it has a defect, mm. you would need to take it back to the manufacturer. Absolutely. Note manufacturer. Yeah. Because many a times we just find a, a mechanic around the corner and then your car gets into even more trouble. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you get more trouble from with your car, and even uh, when there's nothing wrong with the car, there you need to take it in for servicing. Yeah, um, and so really, what we are saying is, when your marriage is facing a challenge, mm-hmm. where are you taking your marriage? Taking it to God. You take it to the Word of God. You take it to the Word of God, and why the Word of God? If I may ask, the Word of God because He is the manufacturer of the marriage. Amen. He is. He's the one who ordains marriage amen, right? amen. just like the manufacturer of a car makes the car yes point made yes and point taken <laughs> <laughs> and Even, so so yeah. the posture since we're talking about what would sustain your marriage in perilous times um the posture that we have to to have to sustain our marriages in these perilous times is the word of god full stop yeah, absolutely. And you know what? After this podcast, I'm going to service my marriage <laughs> in the word of God. Amen. All right, we got to service our marriages daily. Yes. Um, in the word of God. Yes. And shaping up, you know, I have to say, uh, requires work, you know. Dedication. It, dedication, work. Diligence. Yes, absolutely. Mm. All of these things. Uh, but it's delightful delightful work, wouldn't yes. you say so? I would, absolutely. I mean, when you put your hands to the plow, mm-hmm. um, after the time of the work, you see the result. And in that is the satisfaction. Um, and we know that when we re- look to the Word of God, they, there is life in the Word of God. So if we apply the Word of God to our marriages at all times, we will continuously reap life. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. There are so many lessons to be drawn from the word of God. Yes. Both husband and wife must do the work mm. in the marriage. Yes. Uh, yes. Primarily. Um, and you know what? Over time, the inevitable hour will come when one becomes negligent in the work that they put into the marital relationship. This propensity is unequivocally common in Nine out of ten marriages. Ouch. That's quite a lot. Yeah. So singles planning to be married one day and newlyweds should know that marital negligence settles in like an unwanted visitor. Mm. 
This is funny, but it's true. Absolutely. All and right. I think sometimes we, this negligence really comes in in the form of many a times familiarity. Yeah. You get too accustomed to the person, you get used to their ways, and so you forget to bring in that color that's yeah. necessary to keep the marriage, you know, blooming and just pleasant. Yeah. And that is something we have to be very careful about. Yeah, I don't understand much about art, uh, <laughs> but when you when there's color, it draws my attention. Hmm. And so when we put color into the work of our marriage or into our marriages, it really makes it beautiful yes. for your spouse, hmm. first and foremost. Not for uh, outsiders, mainly and first and foremost for your spouse. Look good. You know, that's part of the work. Yes. Make sure that you're fit, you know. So, um, shape all of up. All these things, yeah, shape up. You, you are know? still married. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, be on point with the information that you have. Have clever conversations. Mm. Not just, you know, uh, uh, conversations that are not gracious, you know. Have, have uh, develop your minds together. I think that's all part of the color. Yeah. Um, Couples who have been married for a long time should be able to teach us all these things. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the reason why every marriage needs work. Yes. Not because there's trouble, but because trouble needs to be kept at bay. Yes. All mm -hmm. right? Yeah. All the knowledge, wisdom, and all the plans that you have and need for your marriage are for now. Yeah. This is according to the Word of God. If we... Open uh, to the book of Luke 10, 35 to 37. 20. Okay, Luke 20, thank you. 35 to 30, 34 to 35. Um, we will learn that there is no marriage that is made in heaven. There is no marriage in heaven. Mm. It says in verse 34, the people of this age marry and, and are given in marriage. 35. But those who are considered worthy of taking part in the age to come and in the re resurrection from the dead will neither marry nor be given in marriage. Mm. Another thing to be wary of in marriage is that uh, marriage is not a tip for tat thing, meaning uh, you do something to me that I don't appreciate, then I have to get you back. Um, or even it, in the positive in the positive sense of it, I do something good for you, so you have to do something good for me. Yeah. That's, the, that's also something that should not be expected. We should be ready at all times to rather be a blessing. Yeah, to um, serve one another, yes, each absolutely. other, I mean. Mm. Yeah, and it always starts with us. Mm -hmm. It always starts with me before uh, my spouse. Yes. Right? It I'll always quote starts you on that. with you and not <laughs> your spouse. But that's how I've been living, I baby. know. You know what I mean? <laughs> a non-responsive spouse changes in the presence of a good spouse. Mm. All right? Be good. You will get a response from your spouse. Yes. Amen. Yeah. yeah. So, shape up. You, you are, are still, still married. married. Yeah. We have come to the end of our last question of the podcast. Mm -hmm. We hope you have enjoyed listening in yeah. on this topic. Um, and we hope we'll see you on the next conversation. Yeah. Our next conversation will be about being complete, mm -hmm. being finished, mm -hmm. or being completely finished. We are going to have an English lesson, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, that's going to be very interesting. I'm very looking forward to that once again. Yeah. Uh, so please do not forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And don't forget to leave a comment in the section below. It's very important, important that we interact with you and you interact with us. Yeah. Um, and uh, remember as well that your eyes are blessed because they see Amen. your ears are blessed because they hear Amen. having said and done everything shape, shape up, up you, you are, are still, still married, married.